Bob Ross, an artistic icon, an inspiration to all artists and non-artists alike, known for his painting show of wholesome, enriching content. Today, we're going to take all of that away. I've taken a Bob Ross tutorial and ran it through Google Translate, which, if you don't know what that means, I took the dialogue of a Bob Ross tutorial, put it through Google Translate, translated it to like 20 different languages before finally turning it back to English. And of course, there would be some discrepancies in that. So I'm going to try to interpret the Bob Ross tutorial as literally as possible. Happy painting. Let's start off with a list of paints that we're going to use today. We're going to use white titanium, phthalic blue, sun of Berlin, semi-darkness, sienna pogsia, van dyke iena, mother alizarina, suck de... Lujo, Cadmium Together, Ochre Together, The Initial Problem, and Mum Mum. What color? What? Okay, we got white. We got a blue. Son of Berlin. Red to me. Right? Sienna Pogsia. Pogiza. Sienna, what is that? That's like brown. Brown yellow. Van Dyke, that's brown. Probably. Mother Alizarina. I'm just gonna play it by ear. And by that, I mean play it by translation. Here's his opening. Hi! I'm glad you can participate today. Are you ready to take another great photo? Remove the paint and cups and then finish. That's the painting. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I covered my old clothes. Well, maybe we can call it a dusty towel. A dusty towel? Okay, what's next? I took black and white water in the same order and covered the outside with this little brown and white water in the middle and mixed it. So, white, black and white, and a little bit of brown. Okay, the cloth is painted. I used white and then black in that order, and I just kind of watered it down because it's white water and a little brown. Next, from today, we will have a small orchid skin baby. We come here and here, I will just turn yellow. I don't need a lot of color. I want to bring the light into the sky where there is light. Yellow. That's what I got from that. So, I don't need a lot of yellow, but I need to put light in the sky where there is light. Where is light? A little bit of yellow. Not a lot of color. That's what he said. I also used this skin tone because he said to use orchid skin, but I don't have orchids, so skin. So make some black and blue pathal- p- p- pathalates? Just mix with a brush too? Black is better than blue. So go to color it and let it work in this bright light. We will use some other accents. Only X. Huh? I'm assuming mix black and blue. Black is better than blue, so I guess more black than blue. Work in the bright light. So, in the yellow, I guess. This looks like an eye eye brush to me. Only X. Okay, next, I'll take the red alizarin and mix it with a brush. Make the mixture with a nice lavender color. What do I do with it? Okay, I have a brush here. Let's brush it off and start brushing a little. Still only weaves and wool and weaves together? Start with the dividends and then work. This is one of the simplest ways to reap the benefits of heaven. What? Just brush it off and start brushing a little. Where? I... Help me. Do I have to weave some wool together? I assume since it's gonna be a landscape it looks like this. I have this. It's not wool, but it's like cotton. So that's in the same ballpark. And I have to weave it together. <sighs> gonna look up basket making. So I will show you how to prep a loom for weaving. Before we start, let's review some weaving terminology. I don't need your vocabulary. I don't know if I can do this, guys. Wrap the yarn a few times around the paper shuttle. Oh, yarn. I have yarn. Where is it? Yarn. I'm gonna be honest, this looks like it takes far too much time. So I will instead, I'll braid it because that's faster. And that's kind of the only thing, that's the closest thing to weaving that I know how to do. I kind of feel like that girl in like elementary school that'll like run up to you and be like, here, be my best friend. Here's a friendship bracelet. 
And it's just like three strands of her hair, her own hair that she braided and like attached with a rubber band. But she just mooches all your fruit snacks off you. I know from experience. The hair friendship bracelet, it means nothing. It means nothing to her, it's only a tool. I've weaved the wool. Maybe we can just tie it on the hole right here. There we go. Now, if this isn't reaping the benefits of heaven, I don't know what is. Okay, next, I have to rinse the brush and clean the odorless brush. This is the odorless one. Shake it. Just defeat him. Cheap. Small trees are planted here. Get a little bit of black and dark sienna. A little bit of van grave. Usually brown and light, then tap blue. Well, first I gotta defeat him. Ah! Okay, small trees are planted here. Let's get a little bit of black and dark sienna. A little bit of Van Grave. Who's Van Grave? So what I'm getting from this is mix white, brown, and blue. No, no, you tap blue on top of it. Okay, okay, I just made some small trees and now I tap blue. That looks good. What's next? The only good thing is the coconut brush. You will have to choose several small points to grow. I use a large queen brush. I do not have a coconut to make a brush from, so I'm just gonna have to use a large queen brush like you said. Start from the bottom and try to climb. We want to create traditional shapes, like trees that don't exist. Ooh, that looks like a tree that doesn't exist. Whoa. There's no way that exists. Okay, I've finished my tree shapes that don't exist. Next step. Let's get wet here. Just apply the blue pathalo to the brush and you should be effective. I don't know where exactly we will find water where it is needed. I assume he wants us to make water. That's all it means. So just apply the blue to the brush and you should be effective. And then he's just wondering where the water is, and I don't know where the water is either, so that's one thing we got in common. Next step, let's take a look at these trees. It will be the same water you have, presented as some of the following. Now close it with a two inch brush. Shoot down. I really don't even know how to interpret this. Close the trees, I guess? I assume when he says shoot down, I should like get a gun and then put like paint on the bullets and then like shoot downwards to like make the paint look like it's streaking down, but then the bullets will like ruin the carpet, so maybe I shouldn't do that next time though. Next step, have fun here. Use an old dirty brush. I am lazy. Don't be too hard on yourself, Bob. Some days are just like that. I would add more blue, some red and white inside to make a wonderful lavender like red part. Okay, I have a dirty brush. Some red and white inside. I'm guessing the water. While I was painting the water, uh, I had to cover up some of the um, trees that don't exist, but I think I've made it more realistic this way. There may be lights on the tree where you think the tree will explode. What? Is this a warning or an instruction? Select Van Dyke Brown. Pull the lift diagonally. T- To hun- To hun Table paints a knife on it. We will come here and we will be strong, so we will mark the earth. It will be a long way, so you don't have to worry about a lot of details. This sounds like a manifesto. Every time I read one of these instructions, I have to like cut out like five minutes of me just staring at it, saying nothing, trying my best to comprehend. It doesn't work. What is a ton fake? No one knows what that is. I assume that might be a name of sorts. His table paints a knife on it. Do I paint a knife on here with a table? I found a table. So this is like some, I don't know, TV dinner table or something? Ugh. I'll dip one of the legs in and let's paint a knife. That looks like a knife to me. Okay, next step says, let me tell you something. You went straight to Van Dyke Brown. Some black, some brown black, brushes, and maybe some wood upstairs. We will follow the same path. Does that mean do the same thing with some wood upstairs? Okay, I got some wood from my attic. I guess I'm just gonna paint another knife, do the same thing. Let's do it here. I wonder if you could call this tool the artist's block. 
<laughs> okay, that's a good knife, I think. What's next? I will add yellow and sienna yellow. I want it to be bright and clear as I work here. It may also contain red alizarin. Now think of the big and beautiful trees hanging here. Downstairs. Do you want it to be dark again? Yeah, I like dark trees. I like oranges. And they like hang down, I, I'm assuming. I'm really starting to see like the autumn vibes coming out from this painting. Very nice, very homey. Good color choice. I really, I'm, I'm quite liking this. Next on the agenda. Now let's go back to black and gray with green forests. I didn't come here. I went here. Anyway, everything you need. We are crazy here. We're making black and gray and green forests. I really wasn't sure where he wanted the trees, so I just used my creative liberty. I just kind of went crazy here. That's what he said. We, we are crazy here. Let's make a tree. You can get the plants you need for life. What plants do you need for life? Lettuce? Okay, I made a lettuce as a tree. Let's drink some water here. Water break. Water break. It's so sweet that Bob's just always looking out for his fans. Just choose. Your water stops and begins to fall. Wherever you need water, turn it off and on again. So I'm assuming he wants me to make like a waterfall or something with my drinking water. So, here we go. Let's make it come from the lettuce, because I assume that's what he wants. Okay, and now I'm gonna turn it on and off again where I want the rest of the water, which is, I guess, in the lake. Ah, I think that's pretty good. Now we let it dry. Don't give him free water. This isn't at all dry, but I would really like to finish this today, so. Next step, buy a white knife on my knife and bring it back here. I'll send direct correspondence to the waterline signal. So, a long time ago, last year, I took a painting class and they wanted us to buy these, like, palette knives. And so I bought them. We didn't even use them. Anyway, so I, I count this as bought. I duct taped it to a real knife because I wasn't sure which one he wanted. Here's a white knife on a knife. I'll send direct correspondence to the waterline signal. What do I do with this? Remove the cleaning brush. Let's go to Van Dyke Brown, which is a little darker. Let's go in. Sure, there are some plants. Otherwise, the good little wants to put an end to everything. There are some plants. Okay, I tried to mix some small plants. It was a bit tough because the water residue from the water made the paint hard to stick on. Sometimes you only see small trees because they are covered. At this point, you can create a tree trunk. Guess we want it here, because that's where our leaves are. There. That looks like a happy little tree. Next thing to do is, let's take a two inch brush. You yellow oxide gives yellow cadmium, but mix and mix, brush vigorously. He called me a yellow oxide. I don't know how I feel about that though. I'll brush vigorously then. <laughs> Next thing says, I am going here and there. I will find a dark sienna bar. Take a blank space and put them there. Well, I'll tell you what, I've got a blank space, baby. And I'll put a dark sienna bar. This thing is slowly getting heavier and heavier. It's like the duct tape wasn't meant to hold this entire painting up. I went through the extra canvas to determine where the trees and trunks were, using only a 2 inch brush angle. I have an angle brush or a 2 inch brush. Ugh, wow, that's a disaster. He said he wanted more canvas. Determine where trees and trunks were. There's some. Next thing, I also want to add red so this bad thing becomes addictive. What are you putting in your paint, Bob? Next step says, maybe pour some green juice around. Maybe on the bottom. Okay, I've got some green Kool-Aid and a towel. Lemon lime Kool-Aid, by the way. Not for everyone. An acquired taste, I suppose. I haven't acquired it yet. All right, you want me to pour some green juice around at the bottom. I regret doing this.
I've been reminded today that water holds on to each other. That's why it runs along the side of the cup. I'm gonna pour this somewhere else. Wait, watch this. Right? Huh. Eh. That's enough. Okay, let's try this again. Stop! 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 <laughs> I'm really not feeling the joy of painting, guys. This doesn't smell pleasant at all. It was definitely not the juice. Okay, great. That did nothing to enhance the painting. What's next? And here I took a medium dark piece and mixed it with yellow to make a green leaf. But every time we work in a group and work in the hills, we think about the quality of the field. What do you think of this? I'm scared too. Let's think about the quality of this field. This field, am I right? That's a really field, if I do say so myself. Now I have made the sienna white and a little darker and fixed it a little. Here are some of the most important moments that made him famous. Who? Sienna's famous? He made sienna white? We've just passed beyond instructions now, just sayings, quotes, obscure tweets. Use only the brush on the corners I I. All you have to do is find the key and work in the field. So I come here from the bottom of the hill. Corners I I? Huh? I found the key. What's next? Then place it next to the lucky tree on top. Clean the edges together. I'm assuming our lucky tree is our only tree because our lettuce is now a sentient cloud. Clean the edges together? Alright. That's some nice blending work right there. You can't even tell it's two pieces of cloth. Looks just like one. Let's have fun. I put the brush in the white water. Select yellow. We can come here with courage. Just build some bridges here. Like a watered down white with some yellow on it. Okay, here's a nice bridge. It in fact does not touch the land at all. Back here I use yellow, cadmium yellow, some red and white. Different colors on the brush. We plant a seedling on this huge tree. Small tree coming out of the other tree? This thing genuinely does not smell good. I don't think it's the juice, but like, whenever I get close to it to try to paint, it's- there's- there's something wrong with this. You need beautiful leaves in front of the tree. According to, I don't want anyone to come back. I don't know if anyone will come back after this video. Okay, we can take the brown and white bark and put valuables on this tree. Valuables? Okay, I put in some valuables. Here's a wallet full of $100 bills. That's a phone. And here's a Louis Vuitton purse. The last step says take a knife and cut the stick and then present it. Take beautiful photos. Well, okay. Well, that's the end. Here's our final product. I think I followed the tutorial pretty well. Here's a side-by-side -side of Bob Ross's painting and mine. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. And if you did enjoy, or if I ruined your day, consider subscribing. Might do more of this in the future if you guys like. Let me know. Um, even if you beg me not to, I might do more. And I'll leave us off with Bob Ross's closing statement. I hope you don't like it. This is a bit different. This will give you a great experience. On behalf of everyone here, God can paint and bless you. Subscribe. Come on in, come see. Look what I made. Come on in. Yeah? Do you like it? Look. It sure smells weird, huh?